adds a light bulb moment that he will never forget. The world's always told me you're too young, but curiosity told me you're right on time. Timing is everything when it comes to treating illness, and Matthew Shen created a simple yet groundbreaking diagnostic tool. I've made an AI tool that allows me to diagnose Parkinson's to anyone, anywhere in the world, within three seconds. Through research, the 16-year-old Toronto teen realized that voice abnormalities could help with early detection of Parkinson's disease, a degenerative disorder that causes physical tremors and stiffness. But something interesting is that those shakes manifest in the voice around three to five years earlier before these physical symptoms onset. And what I can do is I can analyze these deviations in the pitch or shifts in the amplitude and diagnose Parkinson's based on that. Uh it's going to analyze your vocal samples, extract the vocal biomarkers, and analyze your acoustic features. Status is negligible and you have a very low likelihood of Parkinson's That's disease. Good. Cool and all to know, but you can give this to your clinician. Your clinician can be like, oh, treatment Y is working. Let's stick on that for two, three months and come back and check again. Yeah. So it's a way of longitudinally monitoring your data. Where it wasn't so much about what I made or the accolades that came with it, but more so how I did it and who I became along the way. Take me back to day one. When did you first have that idea to tackle this? Because there's so many ailments. So why Parkinson's? I have a friend named Joseph, and his grandmother was actually diagnosed with Parkinson's when I was seven years old. And I remember that day very vividly. His grandmother tutored me for math, for science. She played board games with me. She knitted sweaters for me. And to see her struggle with a the speech therapist, to see her go from tutoring me in math to not being able to formulate sentences, that really stuck with me. It took 1,500 hours for Matthew to create the tool, but he's far from finished. Perhaps we could find biomarkers that are indicative of Alzheimer's or Ball's palsy. He won $8,000 at the Canada Wide Science Fair, donating all his winnings to his school's science department and local science fair. His hope? To help support other student researchers. I know I'm only 16 and I'm young, but it flew by just like that. And I think if you start right now, you'll go through the process, you'll fail, you'll learn, and you'll overcome it. Leah Vu, Global News.